we are in canva you are going to click create a design go to youtube thumbnail go ahead change the background to black so we can see what we're doing next click on elements go to lines and shape and then click on the square that has the rounded corners right here i am stretching out my square now you can always readjust this if it's too small or too big okay so we are now going to change this black background to a green screen color so go ahead click your black background click the black the black box near the animated and change it to this color green this will be your green screen color click the square and then we're going to change this to white now it's time to add our elements and text that go inside of the white square scroll all the way down to frames you want to click the circle this is where you're going to add your photo a next we're going to add a text click on text go to add a heading and then type in your channel's name so the font that I am using is Open Sans Extra. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But you will see it on the screen. This is the text that I am using. Now you just want to size it down so that it, fix, it fixes in your box correctly. I am going to go ahead and use the 21, about 21. Now we're going to duplicate the text. Go ahead, click those three little dots and then go to the text and then we're gonna change this one to open sand. So you just wanna make it, you know, not as bold as the top text is. Okay, you guys, so this part is completely optional. Right here, if you want to, you can go ahead and add your channel tags. You don't have to add this, but if you want to list, like if you do lifestyle vlogs and whatever kind of videos you do, you can go ahead and list it below your name. If you guys are enjoying this video, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and then also follow me on social media for more updates and tutorials. Okay, so go back into elements and search up thumbs up. And then you wanna click on the white one. And we are going to go ahead, size this down. Okay, go back to elements, search up subscribe button. And then you wanna choose the one on the second line in the middle. Go ahead, size this down. Okay, so go back into elements, search up bell, and then you wanna click on the first one. Okay, now it is time to group all three of the items. You will do that by clicking on all three of the items and then clicking on group. And now all three of the items are grouped together. If you are finding this video helpful so far, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. So before we get into this next part, I wanted to explain something. We are going to be changing the color of the thumbs up, the subscribe, and the bell color. You want to make sure that this color is a light color. We just want to give it that effect that when it gets clicked on, it switches to a darker color. So I'm going to change it to this light pink color. You can choose whatever color you want.
it is time to add our photo click on upload and then go ahead upload your photo and then just place your photo over the circle and it'll automatically go inside of the circle Okay, so this is where the effects come in. So what you are going to do, you are going to duplicate this page and then you are going to click on the thumbs up and you are going to change that color to a darker pink. Then you are going to go ahead, you're gonna duplicate this page again, click on the subscribe button and then you're gonna change that to a darker pink. And then when you're done with that, go ahead, duplicate this page, and then you're going to click on the bell, and then you're going to go ahead, change that to a darker pink, and then you are done. Now let's head over to the app CapCut. So here we're going to upload all four photos, and then this is what the video looks like now you guys see where i'm going with this right okay so go ahead and go back into the canva app we need a picture of a mouse so we are going to search up mouse and then click on the mouse and then we are going to download this but when you download this you need to make sure that you download it with a transparent background so go back into the app CapCut, and then you wanna upload the picture of your mouse. You should have a transparent background. So make sure that the mouse is the same length as the video. Now it is time to add some animations to the mouse to look like the mouse is actually clicking on the buttons so go ahead size your mouse down now what you want to do is you want to you see where the diamond is that the diamond shape is with the plus sign what you want to do is click that first and then go ahead and put your mouse in position where you want it to start at to create the animation effect that the mouse is moving you want to click on the diamond shape right before the next clip starts and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to place your mouse right on top of the thumbs up button Okay, so now you guys get to see what the animation looks like. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go right before the next clip start. We are going to go ahead, size it down to however long you want the clip to be. And then go ahead, press the diamond shape. And then we're gonna move our mouse over to the subscribe button. So remember, click the diamond shape first and then move your mouse over. You see how it looks like I'm actually clicking on the different buttons. And then you're going to want to do this for the last one. Do this for the bell as well. I'm so sorry, guys. I cannot talk today, but I hope you guys get what I'm trying to say. Okay, so we are all finished. So go ahead and save your project. And when you're finished, your subscribe button should look just like this. Now you can go ahead, you can adjust the speed, you can make it faster or slower, whatever you want to do. So now it's time to put our subscribe button into use. So what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead, upload your subscribe button. You see it still has the green background. Go to your editor's Chrome key and you're going to click on the green area. And then as you can see, it disappeared. Now, if it doesn't disappear, you're going to have to adjust the settings and the Chrome key. And when you do, it should look just like this. Now you have your own custom made subscribe button. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this video was very helpful and it helped someone out. If you would like to see more videos like this, please leave a comment down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.